Hello, um, I'm Brian Moncourt Jensen, and these are my th this is my thoughts and and review of Twilight Saga: New Moon. New Moon, which came out on November twentieth of two thousand nine. And it was a really terrible movie. It was so awful. I was really shocked at how terrible and awful the film was. Uh, film was. It, it stars Kristen Stewart, Robert Pattinson, and Taylor Lautner with guest appearances of Dakota Fanning and Michael Sheen. And it was it, the film was really awful. It was lifeless. It was dull. It was tedious. It was repetitive. And it just had no soul, no heart, no heart pumping it, nothing. It had no blood vessel whatsoever. It was a very empty and depressing experience. And whatever, at the beginning of the movie, it seemed to have something going for it with the chemistry of Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. Again, they were just, they were great together. But once he leaves the, the movie, the movie just becomes, it was, it was awful. It was just, it becomes, it just plummets down uh, uh, to the ground. It was terrible. Uh, maybe that's symbolic of uh, how Bella felt, how Bella feels when Edward does leave her, but o overall it's, it's, it still it doesn't work for the audience. It doesn't work for me. It didn't connect with me emotionally at all. And then when Taylor Lautner shows up, the movie just gets even worse because his acting is terrible. I mean, yeah, he's great eye candy for the girls. I mean, he He's he's got a you know he's got a six pack. He's well built. He really physically showed his dedication to the role, and I admire him uh, for that. But uh, overall, his acting chops and his range as an actor was just it was terrible. He just he, he gave no life to the movie whatsoever. Uh, the, the chemistry between him and Kristen Stewart is just just terrible. It is awful. Um, some of the fight sequences were pretty lame. Um, and there was just it was not it was no emotional depth there was no drama there was no real tension it, it was it was nothing to care for I didn't care about Bella this time around she was just, just some annoying whiny young teenage girl who's just in, in love who can't see who can't seem to stand up for on her own on her own two feet without a man in her life and that's just that's just really sad it's just sad and it doesn't it, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like she doesn't feel like somebody that I have to root for. You know, it's like I want to root for somebody who's really kind of trying to get their get their stuff together, who's trying to stand on their own feet and try to be independent. She doesn't feel like an independent girl. She doesn't feel like an independent person. <clears throat> and so this is a very disappointing experience. I saw this on opening opening day, November twentieth, with my girlfriend, and while she liked the movie, I thought it, it was just it was it was a terrible experience. But you know, I I, I got through it. Uh, in one piece and the one thing I did like though was the ending I like the ending I like that he proposed to Bella asked her to marry him uh, and I liked the, that that little moment with, with uh, Jacob as the wolf who's crying and you know he wants to be with her but he can't so that was decent but sadly it was the end you know Robert Pattinson shows up at the end the movie starts to gain some life again you know because Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart just have this fiery chemistry it's just great but the damage was already done and Dakota, Dakota Fanning wasn't really used at all. She was just, you know, there just to look, you know, really scary and freaky, which wasn't convincing. And the fight sequence wasn't uh, that good. It didn't really stack up at all to the last fight sequence in the first movie. And this movie has, uh, and they spent more money on New Moon, which is pr pretty sad. And the directing was just very one note. The directing was very stale and stoic. It, it, it just, it, it was, it was just. Um, it was just too one-dimensional. Chris writes, Chris uh, wait, waits, however you say his last name, Chris waits. He just has this, this you know, one shot in every scene, just this one angle, one camera angle, one this, you know, one, you know, it just there's no versatility in his direction, so it becomes very tedious. It becomes, you know, again, very boring, you know, with the same aesthetic and the same direction, but you know, it's just, it was just too long and. It, and it just it just crawls like a like a snail. It just I mean it just it doesn't move at all. It's a very very sad, very depressing, very boring experience. And I don't recommend it to anybody. If you enjoy the movie, good for you. But I still don't recommend it to anybody. I don't re recommend it to you know to uh, people who who really like the book. I'm I'm reading the book now, and the book. It's a little bit better. It's no different. Some bad writing and repetitive uh, dialogue and words. 
and the movie is just no better. Uh, it has some pretty uh, unique moments, like showing the passage of time as Bella's sitting in the seat and the camera's going to this whole, uh, like almost, this, it's just turning around her while showing the passage and, you know, showing the, the, the different months that are going by and the passing of all the seasons and stuff. That was uh, pretty decent, but it was just unintentionally funny. Uh, people were laughing in the theater. I was laughing. It was just an unintentional comedy. It took itself way too seriously, and it, it just fell flat on its face. I give the movie like a 2 or a 3 out of 10. If I'm only giving it a 3, it's because it had nice production value, it had some nice cinematography, and, you know, Robert Pass and Kristen Stewart were the only, you know, things that were worth it that were worth seeing in the movie. But besides that, everything else was awful. So, oh well, it was disappointing. It was bad. This is Brian Moncor Jensen, signing off.